How can I be homophobic? Oh wait, shit. Last year, I went to this party and I met this guy called Rasio Paolini. And honestly, I didn't really think much of him because I heard he was just another TikToker. But boy, I was wrong. Yeah, I'm shining bright, got me feeling like I'm next up. Feeling like I'm Curry, I'm huh? balling on a West Wall. If you told me back then, oh, I never would have guessed so. Now the way I'm winning, I ain't have to cut it hey. We became friends, and while I was doing the vlogs, we noticed each other and decided to do something together. The idea was that is it possible to make a hit song in 24 hours having a good songwriter, producer, and a really bad performer? We put $100 into this idea. Granted, we spent half of it on pizzas and drinks, but after that day, we had something special. A song called Blesk. To our surprise, this song became a hit, and today we're celebrating this milestone. At what time were you supposed to be there, Jackie? Nine. What time is it now? I don't know. Nine thirty-three. So he's officially in half an hour late. Join us! <laughs> okay, so right now we're going to this party that is hosted by my friend Rastro Paolini. Hopefully there's not gonna be just some 15-year-old TikTokers. I'm the MVP. Now I feel like Rastro. Feel like John Moran. Need a triple-double. Tell them to the stats. Everybody double. I don't try to ball. Now I never fumble. I'm the MVP. friends party and it's like crazy like so drunk and I don't know what's happening because I want to I don't want to be so sentimental and shit, but you have to agree that it's crazy how we started in a little ass room and now we ended up selling out the whole club. Like, just watch this clip. Damn, like, shit's fucking crazy. 